Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a how I clean my hamster cage. Um, let's get straight into it. Oh my gosh, this is my first time doing this type of video, so I'm gonna be a little bit messy. So first things first, I'm gonna get Tofu out of his cage. So this is Tofu. It's gonna go in there for a little while. So first things first, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna set aside the toys in two piles. Um, one is whereby they will go back in the cage, and the other one is to be cleaned out. So I'm. Um, gonna be separating it right now and I'll be right back so this is the pile that is gonna be put back in the cage and so this one I'm gonna clean out um, three quarter of it and I'm gonna um, put another one quarter back in later on so to get the scoop and get cleaning shall we so now that that's done, we have a little bit of um, stuff in there. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Electrolux from Rapido to clean them up. So when it comes to washing later on, it'll be so much more easier. Now that that's done, I'm going to go over to the toilet and clean it off with water and soap. So I'm going to take you with me. So now that I'm in the toilet, I forgot to tell you that I got the stuff that I'm going to wash. So all of that. It's a bit gross, so pardon me. And here's the wheel, which is a tad bit dirty. So let's get cleaning, shall we? Okay. Okay. I usually use hot water, so hot water, and I'm just going to use just a little bit of soap. I don't really want it to smell of soap, smell too clean. It will stress out the hamster, so I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. And then now you need is a clean towel to wipe it dry. Make sure it's dry because you don't want your pet's fur to get wet. So. This is really hard to do with one hand, so I'll be right back. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to be taking it back to my room where Tofu is, waiting patiently. The towel, I'm just going to toss it in. And, oh my god. So hey guys, welcome back to my room. So, that's usually how I clean my hamster cages every month. Um, other than that, I do um, spot cleaning either twice or thrice a week. So as I was saying just now, don't try to keep, don't try to clean your um, hamster cage totally. Like clean it. I mean, like don't clean it. Oh my gosh, you can't talk. Scatterbrain. Don't clean it totally because they need to have a familiar smell. And if you remove too many familiar stuff, like um, what do you call that? Yeah, over cleaning. You might actually stress your hamsters out because um, they rely strongly on their smell. Yeah. So that's why I try to keep a little substrate from your previous substrate. So usually I'll keep one third of the old substrate and then two thirds will be the new one. I'm pretty sure I said three, um, one quarter. Close enough, yeah? 